going to tell you all about your Pirate Week goodie bag. And if you haven't picked yours up yet, they are still on my front porch and you can come get them. So let's take a look at what's in your bag. And we're going to start with the things that you need to make yourself. All right, I'm going to open up my bag here. And the first thing I'm going to take out is your pirate hat. So take the paper clip off and what you're going to do is leave the paper folded and cut on the white line. You're going to cut sc slowly and squeeze, no chopping. Cut on that white line. You can save the paper if you want to and open it up. There's your pirate hat. Then you're going to cut out the crossbones, but we are going to put a muffin in the middle of our crossbones because we are the muffin pirates. Okay, I cut out my muffin. I want to show you how to cut out the crossbones, which, as we said, is a symbol, whoops, I hit the camera, for pirates, except they usually have a skull. You're not cutting them out by themselves. You are just cutting around the outside edge like this. See where I'm putting my yellow marker? So don't cut them apart. All right. So I'm going to cut around the outside edge. Doesn't have to be right on the black line. We are having fun this week, and although you want to take your time and care, we all know that perfect is not important. All right, so see what I'm doing? I'm not cutting them apart. I'm just leaving them together crossed and only cutting around the outside. of the whole picture or image. So then you are going to glue your crossbones in the middle of your hat with your muffin. Now if you have any glitter at home or your mom's got some trim or anything else you'd like to decorate it with to make it look fancy, you can. All right, I'm going to glue mine down and I'll be right back to show you how to put it on the sentence strip. Okay, so I've done my gluing and I've put back, gotten out my um, stapler, tape, or glue stick, and in your bag you have a sentence strip. So you can tell your parents how to do this, but remember, you're just going to glue, oh my lid won't stay away, you're going to glue or staple or tape your hat right onto the sentence strip. Um, if the sentence strip isn't big enough to go around your head, you can cut it in two and take it and put a little bit of the sentence strip overlapping each side. I'm going to go ahead and staple mine. Put it on this side. If you don't want the black staples, the staples showing through on the other side, ask your parents for a black permanent marker and just color over the staples. Isn't that cool? And then you can't see them. Miss V actually does this to the border in our classroom on our bulletin boards. I color over the staples so you can't see them. I know I'm crazy. All right, and then your parents will simply fit it to your head and staple it closed and you will have your muffin pirate hat. Okay, let's go on to project number two. Okay, next we're gonna make our pirate hook. You have a red cup and a piece of tin foil. Unroll the tin foil and put it to the side. Now this part, you're gonna need a parent to help. They are gonna need to take their scissors. You do not do this by yourself, muffins and work slowly and gently or an exacto knife till they've pushed a hole in the bottom of the cup. Moms and dads, um, 
I tried an X. Sometimes I really should write down my own directions from year to year because sometimes I don't remember how I did things, but clearly the X made the cup split. Um, so I must do circles and holes in the bottom. Uh, oftentimes Miss Lawson does the prep part for this too, so it's possible she had already figured that out and I hadn't. So muffins, here you go. You're going to put that to the side. Now here's your part. You're going to take your tin foil. It has a shiny side and it has a dull side. Put the shiny side down on the table and loosely roll it up into a long log. See that? Now, squeeze it. Go all the way down and squeeze, 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 squeeze. Okay? And then, I want you to leave a little bit here at the bottom, and but then bend the rest of it over. So, parents, about a third and a third bent over and about a third at the bottom. And then you're going to take it and twist it. Twist, twist, twist and bend that top part into a hook. See that? Squeeze that bottom part a little more. Now you're gonna slide the hook into the hole. All right, and then here's how it works. You put your hand in the cup to hold the tin foil, and it covers up your hand and looks like you have a pirate hook. Arr! All right, let's go on to the pirate flag. Okay, your pirate flag is just like your pirate hat, and you can decorate it any way you want, but it's gonna be something you could put up on the door or in the kitchen or on your room because in your room because you want everybody to know this week you are being a muffin pirate. So you're going to cut out your muffin, which I'll do in a moment, and same thing with your crossbones. You are not going to cut them apart you are going to cut around just the outside edge of the picture. You might even want to get out a crayon or a marker and highlight first, like I did, where you are supposed to cut. Okay, I'll be back in a moment. All right, pirate flags were considered very scary back when there were actual pirates roaming the oceans. And if you saw a skull and crossbones big white flag on a ship through your telescope, you knew to stay away. So all you're going to do is glue the crossbones down first. Put them in the middle of the flag. All right, my crossbones are all glued down now. I'm going to do a much better job putting glue on the back of my muffin. I'm going to cover the whole thing so it stays flat and the paper doesn't curl. And I'm going to put the muffin right in the middle of the crossbones. And now you've got your muffin pirate flag. All right, get started on your art projects. And there will be more information about what you've got in your pirate bag coming soon. Bye. See you in the next video. Hey Muffins, so here's a picture of my whole family dressed up like pirates when we uh, were at a special uh, a family event. We went on a cruise. We've never done that before and probably never will again just because it's very expensive. But um, one night on the cruise, everybody dressed up like pirates and we knew beforehand that was going to happen. So Grandma Thompson made us all um, pirate vests and sashes and the cruise people gave us the eye patches and the swords and uh, the uh, bandanas, um, and this was us all dressed up like pirates. So there's Miss V and Mr. V, and you guys met Grandma Thompson, and so I just thought, that's Grandpa Thompson, you all would enjoy seeing this. So go get yourself dressed up like a pirate, and we'll talk to you soon. Love you.